feel that parents and adults influence teens' decisions about alcohol and drugs, uh, mainly by leading by example. Um, I, I believe that uh, parents and adults are basically role models from the time that children are young um, up until they're even becoming adults, and so I think that's a big factor. I think the biggest way that parents and adults can influence teens' decisions about alcohol and other drugs is by the example they set. Um, I think that parents influence their kids mostly by their uh, actions. Uh, like for example, my parents don't really do drugs, and they don't—they haven't really like talked about drugs being bad. But like, I can tell that they disapprove of stuff like that, and I, so I just—I don't do stuff like that. I, my parents don't. I don't really see any reason to. In my opinion, to make it easier to talk to parents about alcohol or other types of drugs is for the parents to just stay calm and be understanding of your kids and let your kids know that even if they do mess up, you're still going to be there. Um, I think it'd be easier if they didn't assume it in the first place and if they were, they were calm about it, but understanding, but yet still strict about it. Um, I feel like parents being open to talk about it, uh, whether or not the teen is using alcohol or drugs, um, just being open and not uh, criticizing or being judgmental about it, um, I think that's a very big thing. If they feel like their parents would talk to them about it instead of yelling at them about it, I feel like they would be easier for them to approach them and talk about it. What is working for parents is definitely talking to their kids early and letting them know that, hey, this is wrong, and also talking to their kids about peer pressure, that you don't have to be doing what all the other kids are doing. You also see some parents that are very open with their kids that you know nothing is off limits to talk about they can just have a very open discussion uh, parents you know trust their kids within you know reason and pay attention to what's going on in the kids lives and really uh, are involved with their children being understanding and listening and definitely setting a good example because I know that personally I believe that actions speak louder than words so if I see my parents not doing drugs, I'm probably going to live to their standards of that rather than trying to make up my own of, well, maybe it's all right. Um, I don't want to just stereotype parents, but from what I've heard, a lot of parents like to shout about stuff like this and get mad at their kids if they have been involved in them and using drugs. And I don't, I don't think that they should do that because all shouting is going to do is it's going to alienate your child from you. Uh, they're not going to want to listen to what you have to say. It, it's just going to make them resent you. So definitely uh, shout less and listen more. Parents could definitely not assume or be judgmental of their kids. They could be more understanding and make sure that you're setting a good example in the first place. I think they could not assume because I think a lot of them do assume that they're doing that just because of, they know someone else that is. I would say parents should be more involved with their kids' lives. It, um, with the society that we live in today, um, there's not really a whole lot of emphasis anymore put on uh, home life and, you know, actually being a family. Families anymore just kind of seem to be a bunch of people that coexist in a house, and I feel like that's a big problem with uh, the way that people live today. If parents talk to their teens about something once, I don't think it will stick. I think that they should be reminded daily to be smart and make like safe decisions and not go out and do these things. I think that it should be a constant like reminder to make good decisions. Um, uh, I do not believe that it would, no, because as teenagers, we are in this rebellious kind of attitude and mindset whether we know it or not it's just part of the developmental processes and uh, if we're just told something once then we're more than likely as teenagers just kind of slough it off and not care and you know oh, they only cared to talk about it once then it must not really be that important um i think it'll stick if they use like more personal experience to make the child or not the child the teen feel more comfortable with them it'll stick more because It'll be more on a personal level and not adult to a child kind of conversation.
parents and friends definitely influence teens' life decisions the most. I think parents, honestly, everything or everybody that lives at home with them, their immediate family, influences them so much because that's who's there from the time they're born to the time they have to start making these kinds of decisions. Uh, I would say the most that I see in people around me is mostly their friends. So I would say that uh, friends are very influential, the people that you hang out with. So I would definitely say that's something for also for parents to pay attention to and try and influence their kids to hang out with the right people. Um, I think it's like the group, the friends, like the group of people to hang out with and who they're doing stuff with. Um, I would definitely have to say either parents or friends. Um, parents because a lot of kids want to live up to their parents' expectations of them, but at the same time some of them might realize that they can't and then they'll live up to their friends' expectations of them, which aren't always necessarily good. Uh, definitely. The media is the center of every teen's life. I mean, with the iPhones and iPods, iPads, television, um, there's an image that they have to fulfill. And if the media is saying drugs and alcohol are what is making people famous, which is what every teen wants to be once they leave high school or get into the real world, um, they will think that that's how you do it and that's how you get there and that's how you get famous and so media definitely is important to making life decisions. I think media affects teens life decisions depending on the person. Some teens will see something that the media makes look great but realistically it's not great at all like false advertisement. I absolutely believe that the media affects teens important decisions uh, because you know people also look up to the media as well and they're the they're supposed to be the perfect people um, and so everyone tries to be like them and that um, can mean if they're doing good things or bad things, you know, the teens will follow in a way. I think the media does affect uh, teenagers' life decisions because um, the media shows, you know, the big, really successful people and I mean, when you're a teenager, what more do you really want than to, you know, be rich and famous and everyone to know you and have whatever you please and in the media those are those people so what they do and do not do are uh, big influences in teenagers. Um, I think parents can just make a positive difference by um, just relating to this, the teens um, in the best way that they can and not being uh, too critical of them because obviously being a teen is not easy and um, the last thing they need is criticism and so just being able to relate and understanding where they are come from and why they do the things they do. Uh, just don't don't shout, don't be incredibly forceful, just be willing just be willing to listen and talk and set a good example. I, I can't stress that enough, just set a good example. A positive difference parents can make is try to be like a parent and a friend and stay calm with your kids and be like understanding of them. Uh, parents just need to be good role models, set an example, uh, but don't just stop there. They need to be very involved with their kids and to be very genuine about it. Don't just you know be involved because you're afraid your kids are going to do something stupid. Be involved because you really care about your kids and let them know that. Help them to feel and understand that you love them.